Pretty much their only function was to pump water for the railroads. What they do is take a, a circular motion and give you a direct stroke to pump water. So when you go downtown to the welcome center and you see the windmill next to the locomotive, this would be that windmill's big brother. This was the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad right here, and he wanted to put a display up showing that that's how the steam engines got their water. And we got another one across the street over there. Well, in this picture, there was the old homestead and this 10-foot diameter Eclipse windmill pumping water into a whole 50 gallon oak barrel there. I thought, gee, it'd be nice to restore that thing and uh, put it back to where it was. We couldn't find that windmill itself, but we found one that was the same off of a different ranch, and we restored that and installed it there probably in 1980. And that house still sits today and that windmill's still over there. You kind of found out there were this kind of mill and there were that kind of mill and that was the start of it. This one, it's basically kind of credited with the first self-governing American windmill, right? That was the key, self-governing, because you're out in the elements in the wind. You want something to be able to control itself without spinning out of control and to start back up by itself without having to climb the tower. So your modern day windmill is what we call a solid wheel. They're pretty sturdy. They were designed to withstand the wind. As the wind increased, it would close it up and protect itself. So when the wind gets stronger, closes up, takes itself out of the wind, wind dies down, comes back. So that's kind of, if you see a windmill today, that's how it, it works. The tail, the vane is fixed so it doesn't close up and become parallel with the tail. See those blades shift? That's the way your modern turbine works. We probably restored about 125 to 140 windmills all together. We've probably got 70 mills scattered across the United States from Lubbock, Texas to Batavia, Illinois, into Nebraska, Colorado, South Carolina. That's a 30 gallon uh, commercial butter churn. We've gone more to pipeline and submergible wells, but back in the day we operated 15 functioning pumping windmills on the ranch, pumping water for cows. Now that number's down to like eight or ten. There's beautiful people that you meet in this windmill world. It's a good group of people. They're here to help one another. They'll loan you parts. They'll give you patterns. They'll do whatever they can to help you out. I think they just love the, it's just different. It's unique from a lot of things. So all in all, these antique windmills will treat you pretty good.